Bubbly Bears, we are still talking about informative writing. We have just really taken off the ground with it. We're not where we should be, but we're going to keep track until we get there. Informative writing, remember, you're going to inform others, telling them all about something or how to do something. Steps for all about writing. You must know more than two things about the topic. If you're trying to write about dinosaurs and you only know two things, Boys and girls, that's not enough to write about it. Think of things you know at least five facts about. Brainstorm. Close your eyes. Meditate on what you're trying to write about and think of those facts. Create a list by writing or drawing those five things. You can use your hand as a guide to help list those things. One, two, three, four, five. You want at least five interesting facts about what you're talking about. Ask yourself the question if your facts are just so great that they will hook your reader. And what I mean by hooking somebody, that means you're going to keep them. They're going to want to read it till it's over because you have given them such great detailed information. Make sure your pictures are detailed. Include everything you possibly can to show what you know and what you're talking about. You're the specialist here. When you're writing all about something, you have to make sure you know what you're talking about. Okay? Now, steps for how to writing are a little different. It says keep in mind you are teaching them how to do something step by step. How many steps will you need to get it done? If you're talking about riding a bike, playing soccer, basketball, reading a book, making a sandwich, building a snowman, tying your shoes, whatever it is, you want to make sure you know how to do it step by step. Brainstorm and plan it out. What happens first? Second, third, fourth. But when you're writing, you want to use words to identify each step, such as first, next, last, finally, then, those are transitional words, words that will keep the person who's following your how-to not to miss a step. Make it exciting. Use the least amount of steps to get there. Stick straight to the point. Stay on track. You don't want to deviate and go off and talk about something that has nothing to do with what you're trying to teach and show them how to do. Below are examples of brainstorming for all about and how-to writings. Take a look. You can see there's a polar bear at the top. It says polar bears. This person has brainstormed all he or she knows about polar bears. Sharp teeth, white fur, protect their babies, sharp claws, blubber keeps them warm. They live in the Arctic, meat eaters, favorite food, seals. And they blend in with the snow. Boys and girls, this is the type of brainstorming and this is the type of things that I just talked talk to you about, you have to have at least five exciting facts about what you're trying to write about. And whomever did this, they are well on their way to writing about polar bears. Now, here's one for how to. It says how to make friends with a family of bears. There you see, you're going to write what happened with the first thing you should do, then, next, and last. Remember, when you're informing somebody of something, it's like you're telling a story. If you're doing all about, you tell everything you know about it. And if you're doing high to, you don't miss a step. I hope this helps. Go back and look at this video as many times as you need. But before we go, here are some other things, some ideas of things that you might know how to do. How to sharpen a pencil. How to prepare for a fire drill. Mm, that's a good one. How to whistle. How to blow bubbles with bubble gum. How to paint a picture. How to help tidy up your house. For those of you who may help, here's some more. How to give a pet a bath. How to ride a bike. How to carve a pumpkin. How to decorate a Christmas tree. How to ride a skateboard. All these great things, boys and girls, right here. How to tie a shoe. How to keep a friend how to care for a pet, how to keep your t uh, desk area clean when you're at school. The same paper is another example. You put your title, then first, next, then last. 
Those are your traditional words, transitional words, and you're sticking to what you're trying to show them how to do. So again, boys and girls, informative writing, tell others all about something or how to do something.